hey there and welcome back to the channel and in today's video we'll be looking at clean architecture using node.js with express as well as mongodb as the database right so if you are new to node.js and express or if you've done a little bit of node.js with express i'm sure you've seen this kind of flow before so you have a client that is basically a web browser or a mobile app it could be postman and http client so it doesn't really matter that makes a request to an endpoint you've defined on your backend right now this endpoint doesn't really matter it can be product orders to do whatsoever but what you basically do with this is you map this endpoint to route controllers so if it is product maybe we have less product um, controller if we have um, orders maybe get orders controller right and this controller uh, make sure that maybe necessary parameters are passed in we are doing some little validation and then calls a service then this service interacts with our database performs business logic performs data validation any other thing that is needed to fulfill this request when everything is done we then return the whole thing as a response back to the client right so this is the typical node.js um, architecture or flow of request and response now let me introduce you to a different pattern that is much better than what we've discussed right now so here is the clean architecture way of doing things with node.js and express so we still have our client that makes requests to an endpoint in our app so product or whatever and this could be any http verb so get delete etc we still have our route controller but then what we do next instead of calling a service from our route controller we rather call a use case right so an example over here is the retrieve use case now what is a use case so use cases are the specific tasks or actions our application can perform so in the case of products our application can list products it can get a single product it can delete a product or most of the cloud operations are use cases right so a use case is just um, the business the core business logic that your application can perform now when we call this use case for instance um, list products use case we need to get the product from somewhere so from our database of course but instead of calling our database directly we don't do that we rather give that job to a middleman who is called repository right so they are more like the middleman handling our interaction between our database and then our use case right so this repository calls our database then our database retains whatever thing we are looking for so if it is um, a list of products getting a single product or whatsoever those kind of implementation are going to be done in the repository then we make the call to a database to get the data that we need then we return the response the same way that we made the request back to the client right so this is the clean architecture way of doing it now it might not make full sense just by looking at this diagram so let me show you a simple example um, with a to do app implemented this way so here in my code editor i have a simple to do app here which is connecting to mongodb now when we hit the slash to do's endpoint i have a to do router so this router will manage all requests coming to slash to do's so in this slash to do's when the request coming to this endpoint is a push request to the endpoint then it means we want to create a to do and it's a good thing to not name your endpoint um, as http verb so there is no need doing create to do get to do just something like this should make sense right so we are creating a to do so this is where we have our controller this is the create to do controller right now within this create to do controller realize that we do some little validation over here and the reason why we are doing this validation is that we don't know whatever is coming the request body we don't know if it actually matches what we are expecting we don't know if it's actually a to do right so we do some kind of validation and over here i'm using the zord library right so if our validation is not successful we just return bad request with the error or if everything works then we need to call our use case so realize that the business logic over here is creating a to do and then this logic is found in our use case so to do use case dot create and then we pass in the body of this particular um, request because at this point we know that our body is a valid to do 
So when we come to the to-do um, use case, which is just a class, we realize that there is not much going on here. Create just takes a to-do and then calls our middleman, which is the to-do repository. And this to-do repository also has a create method on it. Um, the name of these um, methods are not supposed to be the same, just that for consistency, we mostly keep them the same. So our to-do repository dot create. So it's just an interface that determines what methods a repository has. So over here we have create, update, delete, and then retrieve. And there must be a place where we are implementing this to-do repository. So if I search for to-do repository implementation, you realize that this is the place we are actually calling the repository, right? So this to-do repository was a blueprint of what a to-do repository would be like. So to-do repository implementation implements to-do repository. What this means is that we first define, okay, well, we have some use cases. We have a repository, which is a middleman that interacts with this use case and then a database. What are the methods or what are the functionalities that this repository has? And that's what we define the to-do repository. Then the implementation actually does what it's supposed to do, right? So in the implementation, it's actually simple over here. And the reason why all this looks a bit simple is like we are calling function, calling methods, is that it just a to-do app and we're only creating a uh, to-do where there is not much to do over here. But if you come to the repository, you realize one thing over here. What we are doing is we are calling the database from the repository, just like I showed in the diagram. So if I go back to the diagram, you realize that we call a use case, that use case calls a repository, and then this repository is responsible for managing our interaction with the database. So back here, we have to do database, Right. And then this to do database, we call the create method on it. And if you come here, you realize that we have another interface over here that is describing what our database can do. And we realize we have one create over here. And this create, this is where we actually create a to do and put it in the database. So we call our way to do model dot create. And the reason why we are doing to do model dot create is because I'm using MongoDB. And this is how you insert data into the database, right? So to do model dot create and to do model is just a model that I've created, a schema that I've created, right? So we are going to talk about all of this in much detail in the next video, right? But then there is a general overview of clean architecture using Node.js. Most clean architecture projects have this particular pattern that they follow, and that's what I've described now. If you want to see the next video where we dive deep into implementing all this from scratch, then please hit the like button, subscribe, and I'm going to see you in the next one.